1987 Opeachy Tom Seaver slash Roger Clemens promo panel loaded up on the winds. By the end of 1986, the baseball world was marveling at young Roger Clemens. Fresh off a dominating 24-4 record and a 2.48 ERA that helped carry the Boston Red Sox all the way to the World Series. It hardly mattered for Clemens' accolades or baseball card prices that the Sox fell short of that dramatic seven-game tilt against New York Mets. The Rockets swept the American League Cy Young voting and easily won the American League MVP over hobby darling Don Mattingly. And, of course, the comparison started right away for the big right-hander. The next Walter Johnson, maybe. The next Tom Seaver, for sure. That sort of talk always feels overdone for young phenoms, but the timing was spot on when it came to the Clemens-Seaver comparisons. Not only was Tom terrific wrapping up his otherworldly career in 1986, he spent the last half of his final big year season right there in the Red Sox rotation alongside his fellow budding legend. By that next spring, though, Seaver was out of baseball, at least until the ill-fated June run of the Tidewater Tides, the New York Mets. Clemens was busy preparing for his 1987 season, which would yield another 20 wins and another Cy Young award. And both guys were popping out of wax packs across the land as the new crop of baseball cards made their way into collectors' hands. Seaver's case was something of a rarity, as recently retired players seldom got career cappers in those days, at least from tops. But then no one was really sure if Seaver was ready to hang up his spikes for good, and plenty of us hoped he hadn't. So there in Tops and Fleer and Donruss cardboard, you had Clemens and Seaver together again, at least loosely, both immortalized in cardboard as members of the Boston Red Sox. And then you had Opeachy. Opeachy, of course, was the Canadian counterpart to Tops, and they typically issued sets with the same design as the Brooklyn Giants, sometimes with the same cards, sometimes with only some of them. In 1987, the Opeachy issue sat at 396 cards, half of Topps' budding 792-card set. Both Clemens and Seaver made the Opeachy cut, both as Red Sox. But the Canadian counterfeiter went one better by producing several eight-card promotional panels showing a mixture of stars and commons. One of those panels featured Tim Hewlett and Mookie Wilson on the top row, with Joe Carter, Rick Burleson, Dave Steve, and Odoby McDowell filling out the bottom half of the roster. And right there, front and center on the top row, between Hewlett and Wilson? Yeah, it was Tom Seaver and Roger Clemens together, side by side, one more time. For all time.